It was one of the tighter statewide races, but based on the latest vote tallies, Attorney General Josh Stein looks to have avoided a recount with challenger Jim O'Neill. I spoke to Stein just a short time ago about what he anticipates in the next four years. When you think of how many people voted, about five and a half million people, for it to come down to, you know, 10, 15,000 votes, it's a very narrow margin. So. Definitely was nerve wracking. After a much closer race than many might have anticipated, North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein will seamlessly move into his next term. His office has made improvements in the enormous backlog of sexual assault kits, including multiple cold cases that are now solved. Stein says that won't stop. And we're seeing this happening all across North Carolina. We are making good progress, but it's going to take some time to work through the backlog. Stein's work will also continue when it comes to the environment. That includes a suit against DuPont and Camores after PFOAs, or Forever Chemicals, were found in well water near its plant outside of Fayetteville. The more you drink in, the more it stays in your body, and it can cause cancers and, and other types of problems. And so I want to make sure that those companies that put this chemical into our drinking water pay to, for that damage. That's a proven staunch consumer advocate, Stein says that effort will continue, but with an increased focus on big technology companies and their access to our personal information. I want to make sure that they are not using their monopoly powers in ways that hurt North Carolina consumers. Uh, and if I conclude that they do, I will not hesitate to hold them accountable either.